to make a sun hat. So all we need is some string. I found this old string from home, but you can uh, just use a ball of string if you wanted to. Um, a cereal box, a bigger bit of cardboard, a smaller bit of cardboard for the top of the hat, a pen, some scissors, scissors, not too sharp, and paintbrush, which is probably a bit old, not so good anymore uh, for using with the PVA glue. So we some PVA glue as well. And so all we're going to do first is we're going to measure our head. I'm going to flip around and underneath the ponytail, all the way around the sort of widest point of my head, around the front, and then that's the full length of my head. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the full length of my head. So I've, I can make a mark with my pen where my head got to. And then I'm going to use that as a template for how wide the top should be. And we all, we've got overly heads, so I'm going to make it oval shape, just kind of like move it into an oval shape. And I might draw around it. It's better to have it a bit bigger than a bit smaller, because you can always kind of work it out a bit later. So I'm just going to draw around my, the outside so that I give myself a little bit of leeway. Um, around here, in that oval kind of shape for the top of my hat. I'm going to take away my bit of string, put it back with the other strings, and I'm just going to cut that out. So now I've got my bit of paper, a bit of card, and it, think, it feels like, I've got a mirror behind, it feels like it'll fit, I feel like a hat, a hat is in progress. So the reason I wanted a, one of these um, kinds of cereal boxes is because it's already kind of glued together, it already is that shape. So I'm literally going to take off the top and the bottom and then see how um, wide or deep that bit of the hat. So I'm literally just going to take off that bit and that bit, I mean, even you could probably make two hats out of this or one tall hat. I'm literally just going to take off the top and the bottom. Uh, right. So, hopefully, this will fit in here. But if it doesn't, that's okay. Because what we can do is we can think about how tall we want the hat. Maybe I want to cut it in half. Draw a line down the middle and you can squeeze it like that. I'm just going to glue all down here quite, quite a thick amount. I want it to fit together well. And then I'm just going to lay it over so it sticks down. And then, I'm going to be able to kind of see how much more of this that I'm going to need. So it's not even going to be that much more, it's just going to be a little extra. But it's around, it's about round to there. So I'm going to, you want to give it a bit extra anyway. So I'm just going to cut off that. And fold over that point. going to do is we're going to cut all the tops into little tabs so that we've got something that's going to stick and adhere to our top of our hat and also the circle and base of our hat. So we want to cut on this side.
Now what we're going to do is we're going to bend all of these tabs. Some of them we're going to bend outwards and then some of them we're going to bend inwards. So the ones that we're going to bend inwards are going to stick to the top of this one. The ones we're going to bend outwards are going to stick to the base of the hat. We're going to bend all of them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick all of these around the top of the hat. So I'm going to take some glue and put it all the way around that edge. I don't worry about, too much about what it's going to look like because we're going to cover it up. But it works best if you're using the side which has got the um, more um, less shiny side because this is a shiny side on this side so that's not going to stick as well as the other side. Don't be shy with the glue. Pop some wax. Right. Gonna hold it on here. Roll it all the way around first before we start sticking it and we're going to glue this new section. Maybe it's a little bit big that new section so I'm going to take the section off. you've already bent in all of your, you don't do it onto your bit of cardboard, because you've already bent in all of your um, tabs, hopefully they will collapse. So you want to hold it all down with your hand there, and then put in a bit of extra glue. Make sure it all sticks. And you're going to want to leave this for about an hour or two before the next bit. So okay. So now we're going to cut out our brim of our sun hat. So I'm just going to that over to the side. So now we're going to draw the circle where we're going to cut out. We can stick the hat bit on our so, we want it to be, you know, kind of in the centre. I might have mine a little bit staggered further back, so this gap is smaller than this gap, because I want my face to have more shade in the front. So I'm literally just going to get a pen. Thank you. 
back. It's been longer than that, it's been the next day because I didn't have time. But um, take my biscuit tin off, have a see, it's, it's pretty, pretty well glued. Oh, oh, it fits. Um, and now I'm going to paint it a colour and then I'm going to put my strings on top. So um, I'm going to go for a straw colour. So I found some of this old straw paint, straw colour paint. So, paint is now dry. I'm going to take it off of its stand, pop it down, and then now I'm going to do the gluing of my stringies. So, I'm going to just kind of do it multicolored because they're all different. I'm trying to be too much about it. But I'm going to start on the edge. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gluey, my glue's drying a little bit, but I'm going to take my gluey paintbrush and I'm going to. So now we've gotten to the end and you can see it's kind of still, it's still a bit wet but you can kind of press down all of it and your hands can wipe dry and they're all sticking together. So now I'm just going to snip this ex excess off. I'm a little worried that I won't have enough for my side so I'm just going to do the brim and see how that looks um, or at least start with the brim again same thing I'm going to start on the outside working my way in and I'm going to coat the rim just spread it all the way around just you know about two centimeters it doesn't need to be too thick all the way around so that I can do my first rings
gonna do is we're gonna loop back round. So I'm holding it in that place. I'm just gonna squash that down and then loop back round and I'm following the string where it was before. some of these last little bits just around, I think just around, just here maybe? Just going around there. So I'm just gonna literally Thank you. 